to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new LEGO Roller Coaster! This was sent over by LEGO, in which if you want your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now, this particular kit houses over 4,000 pieces! That's right, one of the biggest sets we've ever built! Now, I'm really excited to go ahead and see what's on the inside, just because this thing stands over 20 inches tall and is fully operatable. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. So this here is our box and it's actually got a very nice colorful appearance to it. You see this coaster right over here on the front. Now no, it's got over 4,000 pieces which is actually a huge amount. So building this should quite take some time, but it does look like it's going to be a lot of fun. Now the dimensions are here on the bottom right. So it's about 34.5 inches wide and it stands at about 20 inches. And it's about, I believe, like 15 inches or so in terms of uh, the length itself goes. So just keep that in mind as well. Now you actually see a little bit more in terms of what's going on. You know, it sees all the different characters. And just keep in mind that it is an expert level, so it's actually a very intricate design. So keep that in mind in terms of who's building it and how you're building it. Now, as we kind of flip it over, do note, it's actually really heavy. Uh, on the back here, it shows a little bit more in terms of pictures. So we got a few different things. Uh, over here, it shows that there's like a height grid. Uh, over here, they actually go showing them loading up onto the coaster itself. Over here, we have a cotton candy cart. And then we have, a, looks like lemonade slash juice. A photo booth, as well as a park instructor kind of showing you exactly where to go. Now, this here is the back side of the coaster, so it's actually quite in kind of interesting design. Kind of shows you how it's actually functioning and the fact that it's actually fully movable and you can always go ahead and upgrade it using power functions is really nice, so you can have that automated feel. Now, you're probably wondering, why did they not include the whole power function to it? Well, LEGO kind of wanted to just go ahead and give you that idea. So you can go ahead and use the LEGO Mindstorm or go ahead and put some power functions or you can always go ahead and use it manually. So they didn't get included just because of that reason, so they wanted you to go ahead and have that capability as well as that imagination to go ahead and expand on it. Now on the bottom left here shows the functions in terms of how to go it works. So you have these different levers allowing you to go ahead and pull up the coaster up the track itself and releasing it as well as locking it into place. So with that being said let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's on the inside. Whoa! All right, so this here is our coaster, unbuilt. Uh, literally, there's a lot of different pieces here, as you may have already noticed. So check this out. This here is our instruction manual, and you can actually see the thickness of this thing. This thing is crazy big. It's almost like a dictionary. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what this looks like. All right, so uh, over here we have ourselves two books. Uh, so each book is highly detailed in terms of going ahead in terms of the build process goes. So you can actually see that it will take some time to build, but you can actually see the intricateness of this actual build itself is really unique. So I'm really excited to go ahead and build this. And then we have ourselves a sticker sheet, uh, although I do kind of wish they pre-printed these on the bricks itself, especially for the price of this particular kit, but uh, it's still pretty nice, it's not that many, so it should be quite fun as well. So there you have it, this here is kind of everything all together. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and build ourselves a roller coaster. So our coaster is finally done and this thing is massively huge. I mean, check it out. All the details on this thing are outstanding from the brim itself all the way to the top. It actually has a lot of small different details and literally you can actually just stare at it for almost hours. Now overall the build quality was really fun. Uh, I do have to admit there was a lot of repetition especially with the pillars. 
but the way you make it is different each time. So Lego did a great job, especially with that kind of aspect in terms of like how you go ahead and build these things. Plus it kind of overlays different parts. So in the middle, you'll be building the rails, while other times you'll be actually building the pillars itself, or even like the different stands. Now, in terms of everything else that goes with it, I love the fact that there's a lot of small things that you don't really see off the back. Now, first of all, in the front here, you have yourself a little ticket booth. Uh, in there, you see a character that'll be sitting there, kind of like handing out the different tickets. Uh, and then on the other side, it's like a photo album, so you can see the different pictures of the characters as they're riding the roller coaster. And it's got this unique looking pathway that takes you up to the roller coaster. But as you walk along, you'll see these flowers, as well as a fountain, even a lemonade stand. So you actually have a little clerk that works there and you can actually even have the characters grab the juice which is really cool. And then you have these cool looking stairs that kind of take you up to the brim where you can go ahead and get onto the roller coaster. Now you have yourself an operator and then you have a little check stand here to see exactly how tall you are to make sure you're tall enough for the coaster. Now it does come with a child so you can actually go ahead and put it in there which is actually another unique aspect because this particular kit does come with the elderly person as well as a child. So that's actually kind of nice, that kind of gives you both ends of the spectrum. Plus you get a few different other characters, all with different expressions, as well as different unique characteristics from hats to different hairs, etc. Now you get two sets of coasters, you get a light blue one as well as a dark blue one, and then on the front here you can actually switch it between the two by simply pulling a lever, and then as you kind of move the uh, cards itself, you just go ahead and move that lever and it'll take you to the top of the coaster, and then at the top it'll say do not stand. Uh, literally if you do put the characters standing or make them loose, they'll actually fly off. <laughs> uh, and then as you kind of go ahead and turn it on, you'll see it goes down the nice big slope kind of picks the speed and it actually slows down at one point over here and then it goes again and picks up another speed and it kind of slows down as well. So the fact that it is actually easy to look at and it's not too fast where it's just kind of hard to see it is actually very nice. And then other aspects that you probably don't see is that there's actually a camera that takes a photo of you as you come down. Uh, there's a sign that says a tornado, meaning the actual twist of the cycle itself. Uh, and then you have a few other small details such as this seagull here. On the back side here, I'll see no photos, no food, no pop, etc. Uh, over there, you actually see a hat that landed on the ground. So it's actually small little tidbits that are quite fun to see. Uh, on the other corner there, you actually have a cotton candy seller. Uh, so, you know, you do get two different cotton candies over there, as well as the a character that sells it, as well as the machine that makes it, which is actually a really interesting design concept. Uh, and then you have a map as well as a chair to go ahead and sit down on. So it's actually kind of nice in terms of giving you the whole like amusement park feel to it as well. Now overall I do have to say it is an expert level build. I did come across a few times where I had trouble building it. Now 12 hours does seem like a lot, but when you're building it in small segments it's actually not that difficult. Uh, and it is quite flimsy if you're trying to pick it up. I kind of wish they had one giant sheet rather than like multiple different pieces on the ground to make the floor itself, but you can always go ahead and buy that and expand on it. Now, if you have any questions about this particular LEGO set, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye bye.